Hello, kiddos. How are you? Mrs. McConnell here. We are about to do our last directed draw for the month of May with Mrs. McConnell. And we are going to do our hermit crab. Now, we didn't have a chance to do our field trip down to the Marine Institute to see our little hermit crabs, but we're going to make one, draw one. All right, so here we go. Get your crayons out or markers or colored pencils, whichever you have and that's most convenient for you. A white piece of paper and we will begin. So this one has a lot of parts you see on a little hermit crab and I'm sure you've seen them at the beach. So we're gonna start right not at the very bottom, kind of a little bit at the top here. And we're just going to make an upside down U. And we're going to do one, your turn. And we're going to do two, a little bit smaller, your turn. And we're gonna do three, a little bit smaller. Your turn. And we're gonna do four. Your turn. And our last one. Five. One, two, three, four, five part of his shell, our hermit crab's shell. All right, now watch this carefully. We're going to do his mouth. So watch carefully, because it's a little tricky. First, we're just gonna close him up here. We're gonna go up just a little bit of a curve, close his shell up. Your turn. All right, now watch this carefully because we're gonna go down here and make part of his mouth that opens up. So right from this corner, watch carefully. We're gonna make a little curve. We're gonna go right back up. I'm gonna stop there. Your turn. Down, pointy, back up. All right, now watch carefully. Right from this spot, we're gonna go back down, little curve, and right back up. There's his mouth. Your turn. Down and right back up. do the inside of his mouth. So just a little curve right here. And we're going to go ahead and color that black right away. That's the inside of his mouth. And we will just do that black right away. Alrighty, your turn. going to go out and we're going to make his claws. These are his snapper claws. All right. And we're going to go right back up here. And they're going to be like rectangles. Remember kinders? Rectangles. Long. Go out. Little curve. Back up. Out. Little curve. And there you go, your turn. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. Here we go, long curve, rectangle shape. Long curve, rectangle shape, your turn.
All right, we're gonna go for the claws now. Look at those claws. A lot like the mouth shape. We're gonna go out, stop there. We're gonna go out, stop there. Your turn. And now up, a little straight up and rounded. There's one claw, your turn. And now we're gonna go on the other side and do exactly the same thing. Little curve, little curve, your turn. And we'll go up and a curve. And there's his number two claw. All right, kiddos, here we go. Now, we're gonna go and make, these are his little walking claws. One, two, three, four. All right, so we're gonna start right here. A little curve back up. There's one. A little curve back up. A little bigger. Another little curve back up. And his longest one and back up. Okay. So we have one, two, three, four. Your turn. Alrighty, look, we're gonna go on this side and do exactly the same thing. So right out of here, curve back up. That's how they crawl around and they can go backwards and forwards very easily. All right, right on this side again. Down, little curve back up. A little bit longer, curve back up. And one more, curve and back up. And there you go. One, two, three, four of them on the other side. And look at this. We have his whole body done. All right, now this is super cute, his eyes. His eyes are really, really cute and they're so good to see everywhere they crawl. So, right here from the bottom of the top of his shell, sorry, his mouth, right here. We're just gonna go two lines up. Your turn. And then a circle. Your turn. And then two lines up like a rectangle and a circle again. Your turn. And then look at his cute little eyeballs. We're just gonna make him looking sideways. He's kind of shifting sideways and then color it in black right away. Alrighty, there you go. Your turn. All right, now you're gonna see something a little funny. And to me, it's a moustache, a little French moustache, like Sebastian the crab in Little Mermaid. But it's not, it's his antennas. But it looks like a little French moustache. Two curves and back up. Like J. Backwards J, forward J. All right, kiddos, your turn. Alrighty, here we go. Now, when you pick up these little hermit crabs down at the beach, you can see they have like little, oh, they're just like little circles. And I'm just gonna do a couple of them in here. They're like spots. Okay, so we've got, we'll put four there, and we'll put four here, 
and they'll go a little smaller in here. Three and two and one. I like those spots. And that's our hermit crab. Now we got a couple other things to do to make it look like he's at the beach, which I hope all of you are getting to take a walk on the beach these days with your family. All right, so watch what I do here. We're gonna make the sand, he's going into the sand. Now, remember frog jump, just like with our letters. Frog jump, don't go into the crab. He's going outside, not through the crab, and that's our sand bank. <coughs> Excuse me. Then we're gonna make waves because he'll be partly in the ocean also waves pointy down pointy down pointy down pointy down pointy that's our ocean he's crawling out of the ocean and onto the sand all right and we're gonna make just like little wigglies here we'll cover those up after with turquoise like our water your turn. Sand, the ocean, little waves. All right, we'll put a few more details. You know, Mrs. McConnell likes to put details in. So up here, we're gonna have a little poofy cloud. And we'll do another little poofy cloud here. Your turn. And of course, our gorgeous sunshine with little rays of sunshine coming out. Your turn. And then remember how we make our seagulls. A W for the wings up and an M for the wings down. So let's just do a couple seagulls. There's one seagull and another seagull. And I think that is it for our black crayon or black marker. We will start now with our crayon. So we are going to, let's do our crab first. Red. Everyone get their red out. And remember, if you have those little crayons, make sure that it's not pink, that it says red at the end of your crayon, R-E-D. And we will just start by coloring our crab claws. They will be all red. And the mouth will be all red. And then his legs will be all red. All right, so I just showed you the three different parts that will be red. All right, your turn. I'll color along with you. You can go right through the mustache or the antennas. inside those black lines as best as you can. And let's go down here to our claw. Up to the top. Inside those black lines. I'll do the other claw. And then we'll do all his little legs, his little crawling legs on both sides. All right, 
there's one side and I've got to do the other side. There we go, one more. And there we go. Okay, so we are done with our red. And we're gonna go for our brown. So let's put our brown out, brown. And here we're gonna do his little eye part, but this is gonna be darker. So remember what I say for dark brown, push a little harder on your crayon. Push a little harder on your crayon. Just like that. And then hang on to that brown. We're gonna do the spots first because I think that'll be easier for us to go through. So the spots will be orange. So let's do these orange spots. And remember, I think if you have crayons, there's three different colors, any one, the lighter, the darker, I think I'm using the darker one for these spots. And you can use whatever colored orange. So this will make it easier to not go into those spots because you can kind of go over them a little bit and just very lightly, don't go into the eyeball. So you want it to be lighter than the brown on his eyes. There we go. Nice and light. Don't push hard. Push very lightly. Don't go into the eyeballs. I'd say you can go right over those black lines for the shell. Very light. There we go. All right, so all of his shell is covered up, colored up. Let's do our yellow for the sand. And our sand, just like particles, very light. Makes it look bright. And walking through that sand, I know when you go to the beach, you can bring your little bucket and you could probably find some of these in the tide pools down at Laguna Beach. I love going to the tide pools and seeing all the sea life that is living down there. All the sea stars, sea slugs, hermit crabs. Little baby octopuses I've seen down there. Sea, uh, urchins, sea urchins. There we go, very light yellow. All right, kiddos. Now we're going to do, I'll wait a little bit. I think you guys are probably still working on that. that are ready though, you can start looking for your turquoise. I'm gonna do it like a turquoise. So it either says blue green on it, or it says aqua or turquoise. Yeah. And let's go over these waves first, darker. Darker, so that means you're pushing harder on your crayon here too. And then lighter on top so you can still see through. Don't push hard on it. Hold it like a feather, very lightly. Go through the claws. And look at this. Up to the top there, those are the waves. Very tip top. There we go, right through the claws. Hello. And right.
right over the waves. And there we go. So continue to do that for the ocean. Looking really nice. Right, and the last thing after doing your water, back to the yellow. Make the rays of the sun right over the black marker you did. And then just color in that beautiful sunshine that we love to see at the beach. And there you go. And I'm sure it is just looking fantastic. I've got one more. Our shading. Right. Under the clouds. Keep the clouds white. Right over. Next to that sunshine. I'm gonna go up here and clip it for a minute and our very light blue for the sky and look at that boys and girls our hermit crab for the month of may so i hope that you all have a chance maybe this summer if they reopen to go down to the marine institute where we should have gone for a field trip and they will have hermit crabs or just at the beach and i will see you later